y'all doing guys? My name is Christian. Uh, today I'm going to answer some questions about the delivery at Curry. Um, just basic questions, you know, that I had when I started five, six months ago. That uh, there was no videos of like Curry. There was no videos out on this app, really. Now there's a couple, but uh, none, of them, none of them really go uh, too in depth with the uh, questions that I had. So I'm here to answer some of those questions. So number one, um, it is a legit app. You download the uh, the application in the Apple Store or Play Store uh, for drivers. You sign up. They ask you uh, for simple information, uh, your vehicle, your color, all that stuff. Um, after that, after you sign up, you can start taking deliveries right away. Like, same day, five minutes after you sign up. Um, the process is fairly fairly simple and simple for them and simple for the, the driver so whenever there's a delivery say a 30 mile delivery you know, they'll put up uh, or they'll text you a, a, a thing uh, like, a, like a small like, small little description of the delivery couple of boxes from here to here, 30 miles, pays, well, uh, the, the customer will put what they want to pay, you know, if nobody wants to take the, the delivery for that amount, maybe they'll raise it five, ten dollars, so 30 mile delivery, they'll put it like fifty dollars, nobody wants to take it, put fifty five, nobody wants to take it up to sixty, and then someone takes it, right? Um, well, most times those smaller deliveries get taken right away, just because, you know, if you have a small economical car, you know, shoot, why not? 30 miles, it's a quick hour and a half, you make 50 bucks, why not? Um, in my case, I don't really do the smaller loads. Uh, I'm in California, Central Coast, and I do uh, these longer, longer hauling. Like right now, I'm going from San Luis Obispo to, uh, I believe it's called Pescadero, up north. I think it's a couple miles north from uh, Santa Cruz. It's about 200 miles, 204 miles. I'm about 112 miles away, so I'm about 80, 90 miles in to the trip already. I'm only two hours away. Um, for this load, all I'm hauling is some 21 foot, uh, or one inch by one inch by 21 feet conduits. It's about a bundle of uh, 15 conduits, it's about six, 651 pounds. Um, I have a 20 foot trailer that I'm using to haul these. Um, but I've done a, a good amount of these loads, about five of them. And they're not always as small. Usually it's like two or three pallets of PVC piping. And I've gone from, uh, from San Luis Obispo to Sacramento to uh, uh, San Francisco. And I've actually gone to San Francisco twice, and then I've gone to, uh, or I'm going to uh, Mescalero, Santa Cruz now. And um, and basically, uh, how these loads work is, you know, you have to let them know that you have the trailer. Otherwise, you know, they're not going to offer you these loads. I think the way you get offered, well, in my case, I found um, my first load. I didn't really uh, find the app on on Apple Store or uh, anything like that. How I found the app was I would go through like the gig section in uh, in Craigslist, and then I saw one that said, "Oh, I need, uh, we need a delivery to um, to uh, to San Francisco." I thought that was a DOT officer, but it was a, a lanchera. Uh, um, we need a delivery to San Francisco. Uh, someone who has a trailer, so real quick, I hopped on Facebook Marketplace, put in trailer rental, I found a guy uh, who I've actually became really good friends with, he, and we, you know, he rents me out his trailers all the time, um, and he gives me a really good price on them now, but yeah, I hit up the guy, hey, can I go pick up the trailer in about an hour? I was watching a football game with some, with, uh, some family, and he's like, he's like, yeah, come by, you know, I'll have the trailer ready for you, yada, yada, yada. $80 for the trailer rental for the day. I told my brother, hey, let's go, you know, San Francisco, I'll pay you 
so-and-so amount to go with me and all you gotta do is drive back the empty trailer i'll drive those load it all the way over there he's like yeah sure let's go you know that first job i took i i under i definitely underbid it um they were paying so-and-so amount and i told them hey i'll do it for this much which is just a couple more a couple hundred more dollars just to cover the diesel and the trailer rental they said yeah sure um now that i think about it i should have charged a little more I was actually a, a dispatcher for or semi trucks before for vegetables and then occasionally flatbed loads. So I, I know, you know, the rates and, you know, how to negotiate and all that, yada, yada, yada. But um, with that experience in mind now, the loads that I take, I I, uh, I know how to how to charge them. So the one I'm currently doing, I'm charging $4 a loaded mile on top of that diesel and then the trailer rental. So. So that way, my expenses, you know, my expense and what I make, it's, it's all it's all covered. I know how much I'm making, and then I'm also covered in case of uh, any emergencies. Like when I went to Sacramento, unfortunately, I had a blowout. It cost me about two hundred and eighty dollars to fix it. So, so you have to know how to uh, how to charge. You can't just say, oh, you know, I'll do it for this much, and then you know, and then you're like, oh, well, I only made a couple hundred bucks. Yada yada yada. But, um, yeah, with that being said, once you do the first delivery for them, like, say, for these longer hauls, if that's what you want to do, then they'll contact you when they have other deliveries. And they're not every day or every other day or, shoot, maybe not even every other week. Sometimes I only get, like, one a month. And that's fine because I have a junk removal business, which keeps me busy. And, um this is just mainly you know they'll contact me and i'll be like oh, okay you know i'll check my schedule make sure that i'm free for so and so day so this left they texted me on friday hey we have this delivery that needs to go as soon as possible and i was like okay uh, i can pick it up monday deliver it monday i have no work for that day and so it's perfect it works out you know i make extra money and they get the this, this load delivered this load was actually supposed to go at the beginning of the month, but apparently the other gentleman who came to pick it up had a, a light duty truck with the, with the rack and um, the pickup location didn't want to release the load to him because it was unsafe. It's 600 pounds, you know. I assume his pipe rack just wasn't, wasn't gonna cut it. And it was, it's 20 feet, so if he had a light duty truck, I'm sure it's you know, gonna stick out a ton. Uh, unfortunately, I have the flatbed trailer that I get for a good rate, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, all right, now going into the app, how it works is, yeah, you um, you accept the delivery. They send you a delivery. Uh, excuse the camera shaking. I don't have like a mount or anything. It's just like a magnet on my truck. But um, as I was saying, so you get the delivery thing right. Uh, say it's for a smaller load, it says, "Oh, you pick up." Uh, here, you, you head to the, the pickup location, you get there, you pick up the stuff, you load it in your car or back of the truck, whatever. You take two pictures of it, you upload it to the app, and then it um, changes your status from at pickup location to on the way to delivery. You go to the delivery location, you deliver it, you take pictures of you delivering it, um, upload it to the app, and then submit, and then boom, you're done. Delivery's done. Uh, in most cases, you get paid the same day, if not the next. Uh, me, sometimes I'm taking loads on like Friday, and I don't get paid till Monday. But you know, I understand the weekend and all that, so it's, it's it's understandable. So you get paid right away. That's you know the good thing. Um, the next part is um, I I don't know if they have an insurance on their loads and stuff like that in case of an accident. I'm sure they do, but um, you know, as you know, or as you should, you should have your own auto insurance just in case. I fortunately have business, auto, and commercial insurance. I have all three since you know I have my own license and insured business. I also have a uh, my DOT number, my CA number, my motor carrier permit. I have all that. Fortunately, because of my junk hauling business, I have a 14 foot dump trailer, which is super heavy so you know I'm, I have to have my, my number on there just in case you know I can pull over for whatever reason um, but yeah 
like I was saying, you know, it's very, fairly simple to get loans. It's easy to get started. It's a good way to make extra money if you're, say, self-employed. Say you just graduated high school and you have a part-time job and, you know, you have some spare time and you want to pick up, pick up some extra work. You know, it's not every day that they're going to have a load. It might not even be every other day that they have a load, but... You know, it's a good way to make that extra cash if, if it's uh, if it's there and if you're available. Um, now, next part, as far as uh, communication-wise, occasionally they'll call you. It's very rare. In my case, they text me a lot because I do handle a lot of their bigger loads here in the Central Coast. I believe they only have... I don't know if they only have another guy or if it's just me who does these bigger loads, but... Um, but yeah, the way it works, it's, you know, they'll text you, it's going here, and then you just say, yeah, you know, I'll accept the loan, or you can negotiate a rate, and then they'll talk to the customer. They'll figure it out, and, you know, if the customer says, yeah, then great, and if not, they can offer you, a, you know, a little bit less than what you want, but it all just depends on if the customer wants to pay or not. Um, I've also done loads without the trailer, uh, that are somewhat long hauls. I've gone to uh, from Santa Maria to Los Angeles, which is about the same as this uh, trip. It's like 186, or excuse me, to Long Beach Harbor. It's about 186 miles, uh, almost three hours. Uh, and usually they want these loads the next day, uh, which, you know, it's a lot easier to do these loads the next day for a, a pickup truck rather than, you know, a semi-truck, and a lot of times, when they want these next day ones, I'll pick them up the after in the afternoon, and then the next morning I'll deliver them. Like, in the case where I go to Los Angeles, uh, uh, I, I don't need a trailer, because usually it's just like a pallet, they'll load the pallet into the back of my truck, they have a forklift, where they load it, and then they'll have a forklift over there. I was actually doing loads for uh, SpaceX, I was doing about one every other week for a good month, or excuse me, one every week for about a month and a half, and a month, a month and a half, uh, almost two months, give or take. And uh, those were paying really good, you know, pick them up in the afternoon and then go deliver them to uh, to them over there in Long Beach in the morning. I would leave like at 4.35 in the morning, get there around 8, 8.30 the latest, cause, you know, Los Angeles traffic, you know, there's always traffic there, so. Uh, but you just gotta like account for that stuff. Uh, of course, on the application, when you, you have to be running their application in the background of your phone when you're doing the, deliver, the deliveries. That way they can know where you are. That way they can, you know, update your status. Uh, you have to keep them updated in case there's any uh, delays, anything like that. I mean, they're really cool. I, I feel like they don't hassle you. They're, they're really easy to work with people if, you know, if you're in contact with them, um, I mean, it's all around a really good app to use, honestly, I would, I would recommend it, for sure, I mean, it, it, it probably won't have you busy full-time unless you're, you're, like, in a busy city like Los Angeles or San Francisco where they constantly need loads, because I know when I go to, uh, Los Angeles, I would have the app open and I would be getting, a request every other 10 minutes they'll take this from here to here you know 25 miles 70 bucks or something like that you know so I guess it's it's very uh in my case it's uh very sporadic that I get you know constant work with it but in my case I don't really mind you know not having to work all the time because I have my own other source of income but for you know anyone who had questions I hope I answered them if you have any more questions that I didn't answer, feel free to uh, drop a question in the comment and I might post another video answering those questions or I might just answer them directly. But um, if you guys want to hear more about my junk removal business, uh, anything else, feel free to contact me or leave comments. Thank you very much and you guys have a good one.